a bold vision, a cutting-edge design, and an ambitious promise to connect generations. But now, shockwaves across India. The new Pamban Bridge, once hailed as an engineering marvel, faces a stunning setback. What went wrong? Why did the Commission of Railway Safety raise the red flag? Join us as we uncover the truth behind the rejection of this iconic structure. The new Pamban Bridge, a 2.05-kilometer masterpiece with a unique 72-meter vertical lift span, was expected to redefine connectivity between Mandapam and Pamban. Designed with the expertise of international consultants and proof-checked by IIT Chennai and IIT Mumbai, the bridge seemed destined for success. But then, the unthinkable happened. The Commission of Railway Safety CRS, flagged major lapses in its design and execution, claiming a 36% reduction in stress capacity and deviations from RDSO's standard practices. One glaring issue? The dissociation of RDSO, the Indian Railway's own research body, from the critical girder design a decision that compromised safety standards and in a corrosive environment ranked second worst in the world, measures to combat rust were deemed inadequate. While the Ministry of Railways insists the bridge meets state-of-the-art standards, CRS reports paint a different picture. Field weld inspections were missed, and critical guidelines were flouted. The result? Early signs of corrosion on a structure yet to open. Now, a special five-member panel has been formed to investigate these lapses, with a report expected in six weeks. Will the bridge rise to the challenge, or has ambition overshadowed accountability? What do you think? Is this an engineering failure, or just teething problems for a revolutionary project? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments.